Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be just a real quick tutorial to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve in a Debian or more specifically Ubuntu based distribution. Now this could be Ubuntu, KDE Neon, Elementary OS, basically anything that's based on Ubuntu. If you're on an Arch based distro, I will put a, a link right up here to a video uh, that shows you how to install that as soon as I get that video up. But for right now, for uh, Debian-based, Ubuntu-based distributions. Let's get into the tutorial. Now I'm doing this on Kubuntu 18.04, but this will work for newer versions of Ubuntu first. And what we're gonna be doing is downloading the installer from the Blackmagic site, and then running a application that'll turn that into a Debian file. I did not write this out, but I'll have a link down in the description that takes you to the website to build it. But for right now, let's satisfy those dependencies. And those are listed right here. I'll have them uh, linked down in the description also so you can just copy and paste it. But just paste this command into a console window, let it run, you'll have to type in your password and then it'll go through and satisfy all those dependencies and we'll have everything that we need to make these. While that's going on, you can open up your browser of choice and go out to this site here. I'll have this linked in the description. And depending on which version you want to install, there's two versions. Now these correspond to the versions of DaVinci Resolve on the DaVinci Resolve site. There is a free version and a paid version. I have the paid version. I'm gonna be doing the studio version in this tutorial. The steps for the free version are exactly the same, but you have to make sure that you get the appropriate version of the script for whatever version you're downloading. So I'm gonna be doing the DaVinci Resolve Studio 16.1 Public Beta 1. So I wanna make sure I get this version 16.1 B1. Now, once you have those, you're gonna open up a file browser and go into your downloads folder and you'll have the zip for DaVinci Resolve and the tar .gz file for the make resolve deb script. So just extract the zip and just put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna use the default location. Wait till that finishes. Okay, that's all done. And then you wanna do the same for the uh, script, but what you're gonna do is extract this into the same directory that DaVinci Resolve went into. So we wanna make sure we put it in here. So we have everything we need in one folder. Now let's go back to the website that we got the script from. Scroll down a little bit because there's a couple of options for the script that you need to know. So if you're installing the free version, you're gonna run the script with the light uh, switch at the end. If you're doing the studio version, you wanna make sure you do the studio switch at the end. So let's go into a console window here. So already got one open and we're gonna to navigate to the downloads folder and go into the DaVinci Resolve folder. And what we're gonna do is just run that script, make resolve deb and put the studio switch on it since I'm using the studio version. It's gonna go through and it's converting that installer, that Linux installer from the DaVinci Resolve site, it's making a deb file out of it so that we can install it very easily, basically with a double click. So I'm gonna let this run and I'll come back when that's done. All right, so as you can see, this is all finished up, but one thing I wanted to mention before we go in and run it is that if you're gonna be running Resolve in Linux, you probably want to use an NVIDIA card. I have only gotten this to work with NVIDIA cards using the NVIDIA uh, proprietary drivers. There are reports of people that have gotten it to work with AMD GPUs, but I have tried with an RX 560 and an RX 470 multiple drivers. I've tried the AMD GPU dash pro drivers and the free ones. I have not gotten it to work with AMD. So if your primary focus is going to be video editing and you're going to be using Resolve, save yourself some hassle and just use an NVIDIA card. All right. So in the folder, we can see that there's the .deb file. Now this was created as a result of that script running and we can install this in two ways. We can number one, double click on it and have the GUI installer install it or we could do it from the command line. So let's just go ahead and have the installer install that package. We're gonna have to put our password in. And now this is in, uh, installing just like any other dev file that you might download from you know, a, a software vendor or anything. It's converted that uh, generic 
installer provided by Blackmagic to a deb file. So let's let this run and then I'll come back as soon as it's done installing. All right, we're all installed. We're gonna go ahead and close this down and then in our menu we should have DaVinci Resolve Studio. So we can run that and it brings up this. We can go in and do our setup. It's just like running it on Windows or Mac OS at this point and it detected our NVIDIA card beautifully and it's working great. Now with the studio version there's one more thing you want to do because after this is installed we'll see in just a second that it's going to ask for a license key. Now I've had some trouble just running this as a regular user so at this point what I usually do is quit out and then we're going to run it with privileges. So we're going to do a sudo opt resolve bin and then run resolve it's going to launch and then it's going to prompt us for that key again and now we can put in our license key and launch it if you're on the free version you're not going to have this it'll just launch right into resolve after that previous step but for the studio version uh, do the activation as a super user because for whatever reason i don't know if it can't write to the files or not but as a regular user i've had trouble with that from here on out, it's great. This is not a tutorial on how to use Resolve, just install it. So we are all installed. And I do have some videos on my other channel, my regular Evenos channel uh, related to Resolve. I'll link to that playlist down in the description. If you have any suggestions on future videos, please let me know. And again, if you're an Arch user or curious about switching to Arch and you wanna know how to install it under there, I'll have a, very, uh, a video up very shortly to that and I'll have that link uh, back in the video when I mentioned I would have it. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.